some of my clients and subscribers ask me to elaborate on topic of irritable bowel syndrome, how to treat it. The answer is you cannot start to treat IBS until you identify the cause. Let's go and I will elaborate more on that topic. What's the cause of IBS? IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. Something that you put into your mouth irritate the digestive tract. And it is not the air. It is something comes in form of food, drinks, or chemicals that we swallowed. For that, you need to look more into that. What can irritate that? Think about the foods, for example. And by the way, do not assume that it's natural substance. It cannot irritate. Think about eggs. Some people, eggs irritate the digestive tract. Wheat, dairy, almonds, even cruciferous vegetables have chemical substances that some people genetically cannot tolerate. Think about what you drink. Soft drinks. They have numerous chemicals that one of them may irritate the digestive tract and that creates a problem. Chemicals, herbicides, pesticides, and do not forget about the drugs. The main substance in the drug can irritate. Also, pills could be yellow, green, or red. It's, it's a dyes. Dyes may irritate. So once when you can, can identify the cause, then you can take it different herbs or supplements to help to restore the digestive tract. But you have to identify cause and eliminate that. How you do that? You start with a simple diet. What did I mean here with the word simple? Means that you buy any protein. It could be meat, fish, chicken, turkey. Boil that. Add there complex carbohydrates, whole grains, some of them is a quinoa or buckwheat. Buckwheat is hypoallergenic. Excellent thing to add to your protein. Then add there some vegetables that we know will not likely to irritate digestive tract as a zucchini. Let the digestive tract cool down, restore itself. And then what you do, you start to add one item at a time into your diet. For example, you decided that you will experiment with potatoes. Add into your stew a soup that you made from chicken or fish. Add the potatoes. Three or four days, look at your digestive tract and see if it's still healthy. If it's healthy, that means that potato is okay for you to eat. The next step, add sweet potatoes. So experiment with sweet potatoes. Digestive tract healthy means that you can eat sweet potatoes and do that one item at a time. Every three to five days will give you enough time to identify the substance that actually create. One day you will may add eggs, for example, and the digestive tract will communicate to you saying that egg is not sitting well with me. You will have gas, bloating, all symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome. And keep it's very important. Keep the diet journal. I found very helpful this website, National Health Science. It's actually from England. They have just excellent website. Please go there and I will post link below. So I am done with the presentation. The rest of the video, by the way, this is my contact information. The rest of the video is for people who wants to know more and understand What's the process behind irritable bowel syndrome? Why you need to eradicate the cause? Let me give you a parallel example. Got the cream, facial, apply on my skin. Two hours later, skin become red, swollen, and painful. This cream irritated the skin. It's the same irritation as in digestive tract. Cream has about 50 different compounds. Which one irritated the skin? I have no clue. So as a result, I do two things. Number one, run and clean the skin with the water. Number two, never use the screen because I do not know which chemical compound created the problem. 
The same should be said about the digestive tract. If something irritates that, so you have to do two things. Number one, wash it out. Number two, never use it again. Let's go to the blackboard for the explanation. Something that you put into the digestive tract, so here's the mouth with the teeth, actually goes there and irritates the digestive tract. What the body is going to do, remember, you need to do two things. Number one, wash it. Body will wash it away. How? This is the blood supply that comes into the digestive tract, blood from the heart. And every single, single cell in our digestive tract receives the blood supply. What body will do, it will take a liquid part from the bloodstream that will contain water, electrolytes, amino acids, and sometimes a small proteins and inject it here into the area of inflammation. And this, the inside the digestive tract, you will have more water. Also, you will continue, uh, let me draw it right. You will continue drinking water and take liquids. As a result, so all of that liquid end up here in the digestive tract. And because there is an inflammation here, redness and edema, all of this liquid together with offensive substance that you put here, either food or drink or chemical, get washed away out of digestive tract. It will go with the stool and will come out here as a diarrhea. Side note, when people have a severe diarrhea and body does it, it's produced out of the blood liquid here in the digestive tract. It is sometimes impossible to hydrate the patient. No matter how much liquid you will put through the mouth, the body will use it to dilute and clean out the digestive tract. So often, this type of the patients need IV hydration. Now, I hope you understand the concept. So step number one, body get rid it by washing it out bringing the liquid from the mouth that you drink and from the bloodstream and take it out as a diarrhea. Step number two, stop using this substance. If you use the substance again and again and again, it will be irritation and inflammation again and again. And it does not matter how, what kind of supplements you are going to take. You can take anti-inflammatory, you can take demulsants, you can take vitamins, minerals, they are just not going to be absorbed. There is a lot of inflammation there. There is a lot of irritation. This is a irritable bowel syndrome. So look at your food, look at your drinks that you are drinking, look at your supplements, drugs, uh, look at the herbicides and pesticides, eat the food that um, clean at least for two or three weeks so you can identify the item and keep the diet diary, guys. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye for now.